Hello children, welcome back to part 2 video of your chapter number 10, Google as a drive and a search engine. Sharing is the important feature of Google Drive. Once you uploaded your file, your file can, you can share your file. Now there are plenty of options on Google Drive to share file. Whenever you share a file from Google Drive, you can let others view and even edit that same file. Okay, now files you keep remain private. Files which you share publicly lets you set the permission how other edit. Okay, now file others share with you. Okay, now to share the file with limited number of group, the file can be shared with limited number of group or the large number of group. Okay, so to share a file with limited number of group, you have to follow the following step. Now locate and select the file you want to share and then click the share button. You can see here file has been selected and then you have to click on share button ok here. Next a dialog box will appear in the people box type the email address of the people you would like to share the file. If you want you can add a message that will be emailed to the people you share the file with. Now click send and your file will be shared. You can see here in this you can type the email address. You can even type some message so that uh, by reading this the person can understand. Okay, now click on send button. Okay, now for more control over your file you can click the drop down arrow to decide whether people can edit, comment on or simply view the file. You can give the permissions from this box. Okay that can edit box list boxes there you can select the permissions from here ok. If you will select can edit so what will happen the person whomsoever you are sharing can make changes into your file ok. Then can comment some comment can be added and can view so it will give you only read on read only permission only if the person cannot make changes ok. Now sharing with link. You can easily share a file with a large group of people providing a link ok now to any file in your Google Drive. A link is basically a URL or URL means uniform resource locator uh, or web address for any file you want to share. Now this can be especially helpful for file that would be larger to send as an email attachment like music or video files are there. You can also share a file by posting the link to a public web page. Anyone who clicks the link will be redirected to the file. So with the help of link you can share it with large amount of people. Now how to share a link? What are the steps? First step is locate and select the file you want to share and then click the share button. Same button ok this one. Then a dialog box will appear click get shareable link. Okay, as you get the link for various other pages also, you will get a shareable link for your file on Google Drive also. Now a link to the file will be copied to your web clipboard. You can then paste the link in an email message or on the web to share the file. When you are finished, click on done button. Okay, you can see this is the link that has been created for your file and then you can click on done. Okay. Now after this, this is the way you can share your file with multiple people. Now files shared with you. People you can also choose to share files with you. These files will appear in your shared with me folder. However, if you would prefer to access a file from your Google Drive without reaching this view, you can move it. To do this, navigate to your share with me folder, move the mouse over the desired file then select add to my drive ok. So, you can see you will get it on your drive. Now very important feature of Google is Google as a search engine. It is one of the basic and very very important feature of Google where you can search for any type of information ok. Google search engine is the popular web search engine in the world owned by Google inclusive company. It was initially developed by Larry Page and Sergey Brin in 1997 ok and it is used by wide range of people throughout the world. It supports various features 
and helps in customized search. Google is not case sensitive that means whatever word or whatever thing you want to search you type it in any case either in lower case or upper case no matter the result will be shown to you. Now Google search engine will index the web pages from the whole world and display the search result based on the ranking of the particular web page. Here we will learn about the basic and advanced usage of the Google search engine. Now what is the basic search, how to search words or text to search the required content in Google search. You can see Google home page is there and you need to type in this text box. Okay? Now enter the web address that is google.com in the address bar as shown or uh, when you go open go, you are opening Google Chrome so it is al already there the first page you get is the Google search engine only. Okay, Now click the mouse pointer in the search box this is the search box and type the required words or text and click on Google search button to provide search result for the keywords. So Google search engine will display the list of search results for the selected or search word. Now click on the required link to visit the specific page. For example, English grammar topic for class 6 is given. So all the related web pages based on their ranking will be listed in your search result. So read out and whichever you seeing relevant or convenient, you can click on that. Okay, next we have image search in Google. You can see here web is there, maps is there, images is there. So if suppose before ball is there and if you will click on images, so it will show you the search in images form only. Okay. Now what is the step? You have to enter the text okay, over here and click on image option. So all the images related to that will be shown to you. You can see here. Okay. Next is your find definition of a word meaning that is okay. Now how to find? Who means any word meaning you want to see you can click on this. So Google can also be used as a dictionary. We can use the option define to search the definition or meaning of the word given. Okay. In Google search text box type the as defined or defined followed by the word to be search or you can write meaning anything okay so define word or define word you can see so whatever meaning of the word is it will be shown to you okay so this way you can have the word meaning okay you can use google as a dictionary okay then we have google as a translator as you know Google gives you so many languages it is not only in uh, means restricted to Hindi English it gives other lang regional languages also. So Google help us to translate a text from one language to the other type translate followed by the word type in to and then type the language in which you want to translate the content. So if suppose you have said to Tamil so this you can see entire this welcome air will be shown in Tamil form. Okay. So, for example, translate welcome in Tamil. So, it will translate and show you the result in Tamil only. You can select the required source language and target language by clicking the downward arrow marked in the below image and to open translate window click on open in translate. Okay. So, some major search engines are here. Okay, what are the major search engines? Google, triple w dot Google. Google is the reigning king of Spartan searching and is the single most used search engine in the world. Google is fast, relevant, and the largest single catalog of web pages available today. The search giant also tracks an incredible amount of information that many people don't even know that they are giving out. Okay. Now we have Dogpile search engine. Now Dogpile is a meta search engine meaning that it gets results from multiple search engines and directories and then presents them combined to the user. Dogpile currently gets its results from Google, Yahoo, Bing and more. According to Dogpile their meta search technology can search up to 50% more of the web than any single search engine. Okay. Now next is Bing. Bing.com is a search engine that was firstly publicly 
released by Microsoft on June 3rd, 2009 as a replacement for Live Search, Windows Live Search and MSN Search. Today, Bing is also used as search engine for Yahoo Search result as well as Facebook search result. Then next is Yahoo.com. Yahoo Search is a web search engine launched in 1994 owned by Yahoo Inclusive. The search engine, this search engine helps you to find exactly what you are looking for it. Its web is oldest directory and a place where human editors organize website into categories. Then we have Ask Jeeves. Ask Jeeves Initially gained fame in 1998 and 1999 as being the natural language search engine that lets you search by asking questions and responding with what seem to be right answer to everything. Okay, so this completes your chapter. Try to work with Google search engine, various types of search, images based, text based and word meanings and all. Okay, so go through this chapter children, revise it thoroughly. That ends up this video. Thank you children.